EV converters, YouTubers, and those just curious, I know what you're thinking. Please let this be another wire harness video. Well, is it going to be? I don't know, maybe. We don't have much left here. of this BMW 530e plug-in hybrid battery pack. We've removed the BMS The battery modules have been removed. It's a bit of a wiring harness leading us to the safety box. Or what BMW calls the safety box. What is a safety box? What is it protecting? Is it protecting me from getting shocked? Or is it protecting something else? I think it's there to protect the inverter which in turn spins the motor. Inside the inverter, there's a capacitor or multiple capacitors If the capacitors experience a high rush of current, they will blow up. So the safety box is there to trickle in a bit of electricity into the capacitors to protect them. What is a capacitor? I think of a capacitor as a battery on steroids. It stores energy. Why do we need to protect a capacitor? Why would it blow up? Think of a capacitor as a water balloon. Have you ever gotten in a water balloon fight? If you haven't, I suggest you go get into one now. There are tons of fun. If you ever tried to fill up a water balloon off a faucet or garden hose, and you did it too quickly, you opened the water too fast, the water balloon would blow up. Same thing happens with a catheter. Electricity rushes into it. It will expand it and it could potentially damage it. Actually, it will damage it. So we call the precharged circuit. I know that we need one, so we will use one. And if we can reuse the OEM BMW uh, pre-charge circuit, then we will. And that's what we'll be focusing on today. I want to follow this harness from the plug that goes to the front of the pack. All the way over here to this white connector and wherever these green wires will lead us. I'll bring you guys in closer so you can see exactly what we're working on. So one of the first things I want to do is actually remove the safety box. First I'm going to undo this low voltage wiring harness. This is a white connector just unplugs. And then what we have left is these two orange high voltage wires or cables, all right? 
On this side is the negative and on this side is the positive. So these simply disconnect like so and they run to the front connector. We're going to remove that as well. So first I'm going to turn the pack around so you guys can see what's going on and how the safety box is held in place. Okay, as you can see, there are two 10 millimeter screws or bolts and nuts holding the safety box to the side of the battery pack. Now, what you may not be able to see is that there are two more on the bottom. Unfortunately, we cannot get to those. So I think what I need to do is remove this bracket and maybe lift the whole thing out. Okay, so to remove the bracket, I need to undo these two T30 Torx screws. Okay, having removed those two bottom T30 torque screws, I still can't remove this. Why? Because there are two more torque screws here on the top. Okay. So here I hope to show you a close-up of the safety box on the good old shaky cam. And hopefully I can get in here and you guys can see what I was talking about with the bolts on the bottom and of course the ones that are on the top see how there's one hidden right there there's a Torx screw hidden underneath this plastic same thing on the other side of course Torx screw hidden right there so I'm gonna have to get this bracket off Wow, maybe I can do this one-handed. I can be one of those one-handed YouTube bandits. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we can see it right there. And the other one right here. Let's see if this video can get any worse. That's pretty cool. It's free. Oh, it's really heavy. Okay, so we got the safety box freed from the battery pack but it's still attached to this metal bracket and it is quite heavy I'm actually going to weigh it okay so the safety box is off of the battery pack but I just want to remove the bracket off of it So two more 10 millimeter nuts come off of the bolts. And 
And then we can separate and uh, free the safety box off of the bracket. Not sure if that is legible. And this is heavy. With the bracket, I believe it weighed just over six pounds. The next thing that I would like to do is remove this front connector. It looks like it's held on with four, which I think might be seven millimeter screws. It appears that we could unplug these. Oh wow, this is pretty cool. I can unplug these cables. some sort of a clip. I never could understand why guys in their videos tell us what size bolts or nuts or sockets they're using to remove a fastener as if we couldn't figure that out on our own. Anyway, I'm gonna use a seven millimeter to undo these four screws. Are you kidding me? So it appears like there's, there might be one more torque screw holding this in. Yep. Okay, so we got the front connector out. It's still held with this bit of a wire harness that has the green wires coming out of it so I will disconnect that. There we go. And now it's freed. So let me take this empty carcass off the table and then we'll regroup. And here we have it, the last of the junk removed from the BMW 530E high voltage battery pack. This is what we were after, the uh, safety box, okay, the pre-charged circuit. So the first thing I wanna do is weigh this thing. I won't tell my wife that I'm using her scale. If you don't, can I read this upside down? Do you guys see the type of research we're dealing with here? The quality of the research? That is five pounds, seven ounces. All right, guys, the scientific research continues. And I know I've spoiled you with these levels of fascinating research. Uh, is this thing gonna tell us how much this thing weighs? Nope. 